Welcome to painting an ear. Print out a photograph of an ear or use your own ear with a mirror as reference. Draw the outline lightly with an HB pencil. Next, you're going to create a red base or a first layer. Use a thin brush to paint on the red acrylic paint and use water to thin it down. Map out all the main shadows first. When dried, start applying your brown acrylic paint. Use this to highlight the darkest of shadows. Paint a few layers of brown to give a sense of depth. You may want to use a hairdryer to dry each layer. Again, use water to thin out the colour. Next, it's time to mix up our skin colours. You're going to need to pour out yellow, brown, red, white and a tad bit of green. Once you have created your medium skin colour, start creating your various tones, lighter and darker hues. Work dark to light. You are letting the shadows guide you. You are creating a three-dimensional feature. Keep layering. Dry with a hairdryer after each layer is applied and then pop on another layer. As I said before, acrylic paint really works best when it is layered. Black is also a very powerful colour and it's one of my favourites, but once you use it, it's very hard to pull back. It can easily muddy up your painting. I try and leave it until the last few layers, although sometimes I have to use it, but try and mix it with either brown or red. Don't be afraid to blend colours together. You may have created the five or six shades of skin tone at the beginning, but by the time you blend them together on your paper, you will have created many, many more. I pop white into the blend as well to try and highlight aspects. And if I put white onto my painting and blend it with the wet colors, I can create some lighter tones. But again, be careful. You don't want too much white, otherwise the contrast does not look realistic. Now, the knack is knowing when to stop, when your work is complete, when it is done. And that is not always easy to figure out. So I'm using my photograph here as a guide and it allows me to compare and contrast constantly. When I feel that it represents the photo, when I feel that it is three dimensional and that it actually looks like a realistic ear, then it might be time to stop. Enjoy.